So here's what you can do to obtain that food details report from SuperTracker. First, open your browser and type supertracker.usda.gov. That will direct you to this website where if you haven't used this before, you will have to create your own profile and I click here on create profile and you see it will ask information about you can put your name and you can enter all this information and then once you submit here's uh, you can create a username with your password and everything and then uh, you receive an email confirming this and once you do you're ready to start entering foods into the software so I have already created a profile so what I'll do is to just log in and then it brings me to this screen right here so what you need to do is just go to food tracker so you can start entering your foods there so I don't have anything here so it's for the 20 seconds so what I'll do is to just enter something so you can see how it works so I'm just gonna add skin milk so I'll start with breakfast and skin milk so I enter that tap enter and then you have a different different options for that search term I'll just pick skim milk and once you pick it you get to the screen where you can choose here the amount so I'm gonna say two cups um, and I had that for breakfast so you have to choose the meal time if you don't it will bring you back to the screen and ask you to pick the meal time and and then you just click on this blue button here to add that food and you see it populates here the breakfast area and then it also goes to this chart here that tracks your food groups so you keep adding your foods using this but do not add vitamins you know any supplements that you are taking only the foods that you're consuming and the drinks as well and once you are finished entering everything the report you go up to this Tab, the tab right up here and you see that under my reports there is an option for food details and that's the report that I would like you to get so the nutrients is what we are interested in so what you do is just scroll down until you find the B vitamins that we're interested in so I have here B6 B12 folate, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin. We do not have biotin or pantothenic acid so you won't find those in the list and so this is pretty much the vitamins that we talked about so far. So once you click on those you just click on create report and I suggest you export your report as an Excel file. Excel is always better because you can actually uh, do calculations and change things if you want to whereas with a PDF you're not able to do this so once you hit that create report you see the report right up here I only entered one food so you won't be able to see you know there's just that skim milk there but I have another report that I created earlier just to show you what it would look like with more foods in it so it lists individually the amounts of the different vitamins and towards the bottom here you see what your total intake was and what the DRIs are for some of these and this is really the report that I would like you to bring to class on Thursday so we can do our assignment too if you are so inclined to do more than one day's worth of um, diet record that's fine with me you can do two days three days as long as when you do the report you do the range on the top there and right here you would have to kind of create a range for it right now it's not giving me the option because I only have one date created but if you create multiple dates then you'd have that option to do the range so then you will calculate averages for more than one day so this is what I would like you to do for Thursday.